Welcome to our weekend vlog. I know I just uploaded yesterday, our last weekend vlog, but I'll try and be more prompt this weekend. So we're still buried. Look at the car under a mountain of snow. But sadly, I noticed that we heard the ambulance is coming to our neighbor's house. She hasn't been well. She's been having some kidney issues. So I'm just hoping that when we hear here if they come with the light the sirens going but when they leave if the sirens aren't on it means the person is stable and they're getting them to the hospital so they won't go crazy speeds but um and always if you can see the red fire truck right there when our ambulances come the fire trucks come as well always i don't know why i think there's some equipment on the fire truck that isn't on the ambulance but i mean they couldn't even pull in her driveway I just noticed one of the firemen shoveling her driveway out of the snow because it's so crazy. And Crazy Richard got up this morning and shoveled the, wall, the, the driveway and he is not doing well and he's being stubborn and won't go to the doctor. So I don't know what to do. We're just bringing her out now. Oh, I hope she's okay. I don't want to say her name or anything, obviously, for privacy reasons, but... I hope you guys can say a little prayer for my neighbor. hope she's all right. So they're pulling out and there's no sirens going off. So they'll have to go all the way around the crescent. It's just easier. So it is still really cold and we're still locked in. So I thought I would make some nice chili for Richard and I. This is a turkey chili. I think I might add a little bit of corn to this too. It's really good. And then I made some, they're called JP's Big Daddy Biscuits. And they make, they're supposed to make six. I think I got seven. And they're so thick. Like, look at that puppy. So I'm going to pop those in the oven when it's preheated. And yeah, we are going to have some biscuits with our chili. That sounds really, really good to me. And yeah, Richard's funny. When he gets sick, he still has a really, really good appetite, which is a really good thing. And I finally got him to go to the doctor, and he went to the Medi Center, and there was a lineup. So the lady told him, the nurse told him to come first thing in the morning. So he's going to do that. So that's good. I'm sure you guys have um, done this many times before, but I thought I'd share it in case there's one other person out there that has never done it. We don't eat a lot of canned food unless we're eating chili. Or, yeah, usually chili because it's kidney beans and tomato sauce. And I get my tomatoes, like I use tomatoes in big cans like this. So I'm trying to save five of them. And then I'll dry them out really good. And then I'm going to put the boys, like maybe they're, we always give the grandsons underwear and they think it's so boring. So I'm going to put their underwear in here. And then I'm going to, I'm sure you guys have done this before. I've done it for crafts. Then you put some glue along, maybe E6000 or E600 or a glue gun, and glue that back and then turn it this way. And then put um, decorative uh, scrapbook paper or Christmas wrap or whatever you want and decorate this up. And this is their present. Then they have to open it with the can opener. And my can opener is one of those super safe ones. You know, where there's no discount. I got it from Tupperware, and I swear it's the best can op opener I have ever had. This guy. So, look at these fabulous biscuits. Look how big they rose. I'll put the link to the recipe. They're called JP's Big Daddy Biscuits, and oh my goodness, and they're delicious. They're so easy. But I will put the link in the uh, description box, and it says to use like, um, lard or whatever shortening i use base cell margarine and they're still fine and they're still really good so yeah so this is how it looks i'm going to take it up to mr sick richard and i hope he enjoys it sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit of parmesan cheese on top so that should be good let's polish the silver day and mask the face day and manicure day and i'm in my grubby t-shirt nighty thing that I color my hair in because it's got so much drops. And my cousins, it was so funny, they saw this and they're like, oh, you're bleeding from your brain. I'm like, no, that was in March. This is like November. It's hair color. 
I love it when the color, when it gets to this point, then you just smile and it all cracks. See? Uh, feels good. So it's time for me to hop in the shower. Because of your face. What's wrong with my face? I think it's lovely. You're telling me something and look at you. Well, I was trying to explain to you about your password for yeah. face for changing yes, your password on Facebook. <laughs> Why is that funny? Just the way you're looking at me. Because I have a green face and a black shiny head. You look like some sort of a, a alien something that... I'm like... Yeah. This is how you compute to Facebook. Yeah, okay. Okay. See, so, you know, I absolutely no makeup on, but my hair colored really nice and it's all dry. But I didn't want to put makeup on because my face felt so clean after putting that mask on it. So, and we're not going anywhere. So, what the hey? So, I'm in my craft room and it's still a mess, but whatever. And I'm actually da 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 going to do some art journaling today. I'm so excited so nice i haven't done it in so long and i've missed it so hooray hooray so i've got my art journal here from deb and i'm looking back on these ones that i've done it's been such a long time september 28th is the last that's water the last time i um journaled in here or oh, there must be another one no that is terrible monica terrible it's already the end of november two months why haven't i been art journaling I don't know. Maybe I was doing those journal a day. I want to check the date on those. That journal that I did one every day, and that was even earlier than that. That's September 9th. So, wow, it has been a lot of long time, and I have certainly missed it. I can tell you that. Just really have. And I just thought, you know what? I don't care. I'm art journaling today. I'm stopping. Everything is going to have to just wait. And I am going to do some art journaling. You see, I know I stopped because I was busy doing the craft sale stuff for a couple months. And then that movie thing or TV thing that just started. I can't really blame that because that just started. But it's been all-encompassing. And I just need to do this for me. But I did want to show you guys. Remember when he used those real leaves? And I wanted to come back and see how they stood up. And they did really, really well. So that's good. Everything in here looks really good. Okay, so this is the page I'm starting on. Nice, isn't it? There's nothing better than a nice blank art journal page, is there? I mean, just to, to commence creating on. I love it. So here's my finished art journal page, and you see her tears. If you want to see the process, um, watch the video. And it says, let your tears fall. Let them water your soul. I love her hair. I use a scallop circle to make her hair. And then I just rubbed on that Dorland's Wax Medium. It just makes everything feel so awesome. I love the feel of it. So yeah, so I'm just about to upload that video right now. At the last minute last evening, I decided to take her third tear off because it looked like a, I don't know, it didn't look right. It looked like a seed or an almond in her eye or something weird. So, yeah, I took it off. It looks way better like that. So, it is morning time. I was going to go make myself some coffee. Can you believe it that finally, finally, I got rid of all the crap in my, it isn't crap, but you craft sell stuff. And I can actually see my kitchen table. Remember how piled it was? So there's boxes. That goes in the garage. Or garage. I don't know how you guys say it. Um, Richard's coat's hanging there. But those go to Deanne, I think. And that with that mannequin, that all goes to her house. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's all going out here today. Piano was covered. Done. So we just have to bring, actually, you know what? We don't bring our sofa down because at Christmas, look, there's no ornaments on the trees. Boxes of candy canes I'm going to take out and hang on the tree, real ones, because those are ornaments that were for sale, those couple that are left. It's kind of funny. So it looks like my tree's up, but not really, you know? And one beauty, though, is when I do um, my craft sale, it's right before Christmas, so I don't have to then, for example, 
go and take down the photos that were off the piano twice. They just stay like that, and then I will decorate for Christmas. So that works out really, really well. But, oh, that was a big job, and I am glad it's done, and we're still buried. Under snow, but the sky is blue. Oops, that's a curtain thing for the blinds thing. Sky's blue, it's freezing cold. I think it's like minus 31 or something weird like that. Last night it was minus 43. And second, break up! So it is um, the Great Cup here in Canada, which is the CFL's version of the stat of the um, Super Bowl. And the funniest thing, let me turn this down a little bit. The funniest thing about the Great Cup, like my dad played the Great Cup in the Great Cup several times, and he's had or has three Grey Cup rings. And um, before the Grey Cup, that was, you can see the cup in the back, that grey silvery thing. And it was never really mounted up on this big huge thing. It was just kind of the cup before they start putting all the inscriptions of all the teams on it back in the 50s because he won 54, 55, and 56. And I must have been in 54 and they brought they were able to bring the cup home to the players' houses. So they brought it home, and I don't know if they had it in the living room or on our front lawn. I can't, must have been the living room because Grey Cup is in the middle of um, November. And I thought it was a potty, and I sat down and got ready to pee in it. And so every time I watch these players, when they go to drink champagne out of the Grey Cup, I always have a funny chuckle. I mean, I know it's been cleaned. It's been how many years it's well, I'm 63 and I would have been three, so it's 60 years ago, but still, it's pretty funny. So yeah, this is our version of the Super Bowl. He's cray cray. So he, this year it is, I believe, Hamilton playing Calgary, and Calgary is a city, it's our kind of rival city right to the south of us. So, my Richard had to go drop something off at Deanna Brody's, and we always get things like chicken wings and spring rolls and fun food like that. Always, 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 just as a little tradition. It's just like Super Bowl, you know, you have your Super Bowl snacks, so. Guy looks kind of like John Legend. So, while we're watching the game, I am going to put together this little holiday binder thing. It's supposed to go in a binder, but I'm going to use my bind it all. And it's got think, gift lists, cards, receipts, birthdays, and anniversaries. Now, when I printed it out, I should have had the papers laying out this way. So you could get two, and I didn't. And I don't want to waste this because, you know, and I don't want to waste the paper or the ink. So I will fix it up. I will trace this December one and then carry on with the numbers for December on another sheet of paper. I can make it work. And um, I know this sheet was just blank with a little tab, so that's no biggie. I might just glue it on some cardstock or something. Same with the birthday, as long as I have the months there. So there's birthdays and anniversaries. It's quite cute. It was already made, you know, so it was a template. And this is month at a glance. I, I should put that in front of the November, December. And the gift checklist and receipts. Yeah, just kind of a fun little booklet to have your cards. Hope they have more than, yeah, they only have one card thing. But I can always, um, again, make another sheet for the other side. Same with gifts, and then that goes in front of the gift sheet. So I'm going to put this little booklet all together while I watch the game. So it's Monday at lunchtime, well it's late, late lunch, and I'm just going to check on my grilled cheese sandwich that I have left in the pan way too long. I put it on low. Oh yeah, this baby's cooked. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, my sandwich is cooked. But anyway, I just wanted to say thanks a lot for watching this vlog. 
I finally put some makeup on today because I'm going out. My hair is still wet, but I'm going out later on this afternoon when Richard gets home to the inked stamper, stamp it scrapbook store because I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or not but about a month ago maybe I was uh, asked to be a guest designer for their store so that's kind of fun so I have to do my design team um, selection for December and so I thought I better get a crack of on it and so I'm just gonna pop by there so anyway I just want to wish you guys a very good week I hope you're not buried like we are under snow. And I mean, I don't mind the snow so much, but it is really, really, really cold. So I'm sending you off some warm hugs and I hope you stay warm. Oh, today I got to do a really fun thing with this casting uh, job. I got to phone and tell people you've been selected for the role. It's so fun to hear how excited they get. It's so fun. Because, I mean, these are TV roles and it's good money. And so it's just super fun to hear people say, oh, thank you. I'm so excited. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's kind of fun. Fun perk of the job, making people happy, you know. So, anyway, I hope a little bit of this video made you guys a little tiny bit happy. And we'll see you next week. And thanks so much for watching. And Richard is so much better. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Thanks for all your well wishes. He's, he's still hacking and coughing. He went to the doctor, but he is much, much better. So, we'll see you next week. Bye.